hundred K in one day and six thousand seven hundred likes. All right, bet. Let's get this series started then. But let's try and keep the chain going though. If this video also gets five K likes, I'll do another one tomorrow along with a double upload. So five K likes is the goal. Without further ado, let's get the series started. All right, so let's see. The first character I'm gonna be doing is Shinra because I'm trying to knock out like the harder ones first. I mean, Shinra's not really hard, but like he doesn't have like the greatest of matchups. Like for example, if you playing Shinra and you fight Rimuru or Naruto, you're going to probably just instantly lose because Shinra's a close range character. Same thing with like Ippo. They don't really have any range skills. So like if they fight characters like that, they just lose. All right, for the first skill, we have Devil's Foot. This is a skill where he basically flies across the map and kicks them in the face. It looks like this. Oh wait, I <laughs> charged. Whoops, my bad. Okay, but yeah, look Look at it. Is he fly across the map, kick your enemy for 16 damage? This skill does not guard break though. Uh, as you see, yep, it didn't guard break. And also, I don't think it breaks super armor. Some skills break super armor in this game, and some skills break hyper armor, but it just depends on the skill. I'm not really gonna go too much important into that because it's kind of like annoying to explain. Just know that super armor is weaker than hyper armor, and super armor up takes 50% less damage rather than like taking 100% damage than everything. And some skills can also break super armor. Like, fire axe my fire axe can break it and hyper armor you get iframes until your move winds up some skills can break it but i don't think shinra has any skills that can break it let me see if fire axe does yeah it doesn't i don't think shinra has any skills that can break that some characters have skills that can break it but only a few and usually if they do have a skill that can break that it's usually like an awakening skill anyway my bad dinner up the showcase i just wanted to explain that really quick because i know someone's gonna ask a question about that all right second skill fire flip kick this is like your combo extender skill so you can just do this kick him in the air do another ammo combo just like that it's basically a combo extender skill and it's not a bad one too i don't think this guard breaks though yeah it doesn't guard break so yeah it's just a combo extender but it doesn't guard break third skill is fire axe now this skill i think this does guard break this is where you like launch the enemy across the damn map with a kick that skill also can break super armor like i explained earlier it's also really good to know which skills that can break it because some skills you need to break the armor or else you're going to take a lot of damage or you're about to get smacked. So like, <laughs> I, I promise you the super armor, hyper armor stuff is kind of complicated at first, but after you play for like a day or two, you will start to understand it, understand how each thing works. And like, it's very important to know which move on your character can break super armor. Like for example, Rimuru's one, his little thunderbolt can break super armor. So like, it's really good to know which move on your character that can break it. And also, uh, I think this guard breaks. Yeah, it does guard break. Nice. It may seem like they get sent too far to combo extend, but uh, Fire Axe is true into Devil's Foot, so don't worry. But Devil's Foot has a really, really long cooldown for a good reason, because it's like a very, very fast long range skill. And the next skill is Flaming Kick Flurry. Uh, this skill has super armor, I think. Yeah, I'm glowing red, meaning the skill does have super armor. Let me see if this thing guard breaks. I don't think it does. Oh, yep, it does. Never mind. Okay, so your Fire Axe and your Flaming Kick Flurry guard break, but only the last hit of your Flaming Kick Flurry. Your Flaming Kick Flurry has super armor. All right, so since this has super armor, I can pretty much just jump into an M1 combo. Yup, and I just win. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop it unless he breaks my super armor. And for the last skill, we have Korna. This is like where Shimmer kind of gets like complex a little bit. Uh, you can basically awaken or you can use Korna twice. The choice is up to you, but if you use Korna, look at it. You fly at your enemy. And then it takes 60 damage. That's a lot of damage, but as you can see at the top, it took half of my waking meter. So yeah, you can pretty much choose to awaken and one-shot your enemy, or you can use two corners. It's up to you. Most people usually go for like uh, the one-shot, but like it just depends on what you want to do. I guess it depends on a matchup. I kind of like the 50% damage though, or 60 damage that it does, but I don't know. It just depends on you. And if I'm correct, it breaks super armor as well. Yep. Only does 30 damage though, because it's super armor. So I guess it doesn't break it, it just hits through it. Wow, okay. So you probably don't want to do that on someone that's using super armor. Or if they can predict a corner coming, they're probably gonna use a super armor move just to negate the damage. That's why I be saying the game is complex. It's not really as simple as ABA's combat. This game has a lot more to it. Corner, let's see if you can block this. Nope, big guard breaks. Wow. Damn, all right. <laughs> all right, and last but not least, let's go into awakening. All right, uh, in Awakening, you got Dola Burst. I'm pretty sure this goes through Hyper and Super. Let me see if it goes through Hyper. Yeah, it goes through everything. You can't do nothing about it. And it does indeed one shot. Damn, just like that. Wait, 
Okay, well, it's this hyper dummy. I guess this thing's immortal. I don't know. But yeah, if that's anyone else, they get one shot. <laughs> I guess they just didn't get one shot because it's a dummy. But this can kill hyper armor players, I think. I'm pretty sure it can. I don't know. But anyway, let's go into ranked. I don't really know too much Shimmer combos, but like, I'm probably just go for, gonna go for this. Uh, uh, uh. With the two. And then like, go for another MMR combo. But they're probably gonna evasive before I can even continue that. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's go into ranked. Let's get some W's and let's get this experience series started. All right, we got the first match. No one wants to see all Shimmer skins. He has a lot of skins. Like, he has the most skins in the game at the moment. What the hell? I spawned right next to the dude. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know how I spawned right next to him, but hey, I'll take it. Fire axe. Devil's foot. Woo. This guy's getting torn up. Yep, super armor. That's that flaming kick furry. Like I told you guys, as super armor, so. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I got a base out of this. I didn't walk out of it. What the hell? That was crazy. Oh, my God. I tried to PB it. All right. At least he can't combo extend off that. Fire axe. Okay. That did not work. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nice. There we go. He's dead. Woo. Let's go. Sharon does some pretty good damage, and he has a lot of skills. Well, not a lot. He has four skills, but I guess five. You can count that if you count an awakening. I'm not. I'm probably not going to go for the five this match. I'm probably going to go for the one shot because Shinra, obviously, since he can one shot, your best bet is trying to get your enemy to last stock and then one shotting them. All right, super armor, break that. Okay, that was weird. Uh, I'm evasive. All right, there you go. Oh. All right, use my four. We're both using super armor skills. <laughs> His thing has super armor, mine has super armor. Oh, God. Damn, that move is fast. <laughs> I should have PB'd it, but I didn't see it coming, honestly. Damn, look at the damage and points difference. <laughs> I'm winning, but, like, kind of not really. I mean, I don't think that matters too much when it comes to awakening. I'm not, I haven't been playing this game too much to know, like, what exact number you get awakening at. I think it's, like, 500, if I'm correct, though. And with the kick... Nice. I should have probably fire axe first, but I need my fire axe in case he uses a super armor skill. There you go. Get away from me. All right. Charge all the way up. Oh, my God. That skill is so fast. That'd be catching me off guard, I swear. Evasive. Use the four. We're both using super armor skills. Oh, wow. His wins in the end. There you go. Nice. Okay. Uh, I need a fire axe him. No. Oh, that's bad. God damn, Tengen is irritating. Oh, evasive. Okay. I didn't evasive, but hey. We should be fine, I think. Kick him in the face. Nice. There you go. Let me kick Flurry. Nice. He's dead here. Woo. Okay, we just got to get him down to last stock. Once we get him down to last stock, we're good to win this. There's two stocks left. I'm close to awakening. Damn. I'm really, really close to awakening. Um, kick him. Damn. <laughs> he does it every time and I fall for it. What is wrong with me? Oh, crap. I didn't realize it wasn't recording. Whatever. I'll probably pick it up with shadow play. But, ooh, flame axe. Nice. Broke his super armor. That's what I said. That's why it's important to know which skill on your character can break super armor. Because, oh, well, let me race about there. Because when you come into situations like that, when you need to break your enemy super armor, um, it'll come in clutch. There you go. I can him away. Nice. Hopefully, my metal picked up the, the previous uh, two stocks, but whatever. It's all good. We can just record more matches. I'm not really tripping about it. I tried to break his super armor. No. All right. Oh, no. His move lasts longer. That's the only tricky part about that. Let me see if I can kill this guy. Nice. Nice. Okay, block all of this. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. M2. Oh, yeah, super armor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fire axe. There you go. Gotta kick my way, you know. Oh, I thought he was gonna run at me. So I used Flimmy Kick Flurry. Oh, good, all good, all good. I kinda wanna use Corna. I'm um, evasive out of this. Nice. Oh, wow. He went for Awakening. I have awakening, but I don't want to use it just yet. Alright. Those foot. Get away from me, idiot. I have fire axe in case I need to break a super armor. Get away from me. 
Oh man. I'm two. Nice. All right. No. I didn't do the combo right. Oh god, that hurt. Oh god. I don't want to awaken yet. I really don't, but I might just have to. Um. Yeah, let's just do it. Oh, I gotta end his awakening, so why not? All right. There we go. I only use me to half though. It didn't heal me to full because it'd be cheap if you get a full heal with a one shot awakening. There you go. Hopefully he doesn't awaken again, but I don't think he will. All right, that boy's dead. Damn, I got awakening really early. I don't know how I did, but I probably should have just cornered him at least once. And then I can just get awakening next life, but it doesn't matter. It's all good. All right, um, he's gonna use the one. Knew it. The reeds, the reeds. Nice. Nice. Down slam. Oh, the down slam drops? How'd the down slam drop? Whatever. Uh, fire axe. Oh, I didn't break his super armor. I missed. PB. All right. Flaming kick flurry. Oh, hell no. That's not hitting me. All right. Devil's foot. Nice. Really good Shinra match. Shinra's really fun. And he's a pretty good character, but unfortunately, he just struggles against some characters in the game. Nice. GG. <laughs> Shinra gaming, boy. Let's go. Whew. Me emote on that boy. Mm, Shinra getting his 30. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Let's go into the next match. Hopefully, I don't get the same person, but the game's not out yet. So, of course, we might run into the same people a couple times. I'm playing the female Shinra skin. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a bad match. I'm probably going to lose here. Okay. And I'm fighting a leaderboard sweat too. Yeah, I don't think I win this match. <laughs> Shinra versus Naruto is a really, 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 really bad matchup. Like, you're about to see why this is a bad matchup. Oh, God. Oh, no, man. It's a really, really bad matchup. Jeez. Um, let me see what I can do here. Let me kick fire. All right. Nice. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but whatever. All right. With this, super armor. Oh. See, his move has super armor and also breaks it, which is crazy. <laughs> like, Naruto needs heavy nerfs in this game. If I was, if there's one character that's really broken right now, it's Naruto. Naruto's really good. Um, I gotta just run away from those clones. His clones can damage him as well, though, but I whiffed it. Damn. Oh, I might be dead here. Okay, I'm not dead here. Oh, no. Oh, he came up behind me. That sucks. All right. He's about to get Sage Mode, though. This is not good at all. He's really close to Sage Mode already. All right. Fire Axe. Nice. Use the one. Oh, my goodness. The clone got in the way. Interrupted my one. Great. Nice. All right. Use the four. This should kill him. Nice. Oof. All right, we could probably win this. I might have to go for a corner, but we'll see. And also, corner can miss. You can miss corner. I've seen it, <laughs> and when it happens, it's like really demotivating. It's like the worst feeling in the world when it misses too. Nice, knock him away. Fire axe. Ah, oh, I whiffed. Evasive. No! Oh my god, that move has super armor wind up. That's so irritating. Oh, this is bad. Oh, what the hell? He knocked me away. Oh, wait. No, I'm about to die here. Oh, God. All right. What the? Oh, his stupid clone hit me. Okay, yeah, this is really bad, man. Damn, I'm dead. Ooh, I hate this matchup, man. I hate fighting Naruto without or like a range skill of any sort. Like, since you don't have a range skill, it just it's terrible fighting Naruto. They spawn clones in. They have uh, super armor on Rufus Zangon, and you have to just take it. It's just so, like, ugh. All right. Fire axe him. Nice. All right. He didn't see the devil's foot coming. That's why I have to save my devil's foot for Zangon. because if he uses Zangon here, I have to just take it. All right. Use the two. Nice. Up to. Okay, that didn't work. All good, all good, all good. Uh, oh, wow, he awakened. That's bad. 
Oh my, I use more clones. This clone is so irritating. Uh, fire axe. Nope. All right. Oh, he breaks my super armor with that. It has super armor on windup and also breaks super armor. God, I hate that move so much. Uh, as usual, Naruto players will be Naruto. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead here. Damn. All right. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to win this match. I'm going to keep it a buck. <laughs> like, I, I legitimately don't know how I'm going to win this. Because, like, he's about to get... Uh, si no, he's not going to use Sage Mode. He's probably just going to wake and use uh, Six Tails or Five or whatever it's called. Fire Axe. Did I hit a clone or did I hit him? I hit a clone. Great. No, his clone interrupted me. No. Oh, my... No way, man. The clone interrupted me. Oh, he's supposed to be dead right now. Wow, he's going to awaken now. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually so tilted. I'm so tilted. Fire Axe. I'm so tilted, bro. <laughs> he's supposed to be dead right there, man. Uh, I can awaken, but even if I awaken, he's going to awaken soon, too. So, like, uh, I, I don't know, bro. Mm, if I can kill one stock and then awaken, that'd be really good, though. Here comes the clones. Bro, it's like, what am I supposed to do about that? There's nothing I could do about that. And he just breaks my super armor. Um, Let's see. If, there you go. Use the one. Nice. Oh, it doesn't wall bounce or wall splat or whatever. Uh... I'm to him. Nice. Oh. Come on. Oh, I might be dead here. Damn, I have to just awaken. I don't want to awaken yet, though. Oh, God. Let's just do it. I don't have a choice. And there's clones on me that are relentless as hell. Look at these clones. Look at them. <laughs> Dudes are relentless. He's going to awaken. I just lose, though. But we'll see. I have more damage and points than him, but like, it just doesn't matter. He's gonna awaken again. Cause Naruto has like what three awakenings or four kinda. He has Sage mode. He has the the Tail Beast, and he has a, a KCM. But we'll see. Oh, he blocked it. Bro, what is that? Oh my God, clones are so annoying. Evasive. Do the two. Nice. Oh, the freaking platform around the way. There you go. Why is he on awakening? I know he has it. He's just not using it. I don't know why. Use four. He's trolling. He's about to use it now, though. Why is he not using it? He's actually trolling. Limb kick fire. Nice. Whack it with us. He's going to evasive. Oh, yeah. He awakened. Oh, man, bro. This is game. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> like, Naruto's so cheese, bro. Naruto and Rimuru just destroy Ippo and Shinra. <laughs> that matchup would have been even worse if I was playing Shinra. I mean, Ippo, because Ippo has definitely no range skills. All Ippo does is box. <laughs> All right, let's go into the next match. All right, we got another match. Another Tengen? God damn. All right. Here we go. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, hopefully he goes for this little flaming thing. I can just fire axe him. Oh, he whiffed. That's the Shinra Classic right there. I'm not the Shinra Classic. I didn't mean to do that. I'm about to down slam. Because you can, down slam is true into this game. True into combos. The combo is not the same as ABAs. There you go, kick him. Nice. I should have fire axed him before kicking him, but whatever. Like, you can do this, and it's true into combos in this game. But in exchange, for it being true, it takes meter. You can't just keep doing it. Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Evasiving. Nice. Oh my god. He used the super armor skill. That's why I'm telling you guys. Make sure you check what skill has super armor on your character. Use this. This should call it a wall splat. Nice. Alright. Might be able to fire axe him. Did I not block? I'm dead here. He pee pee. Ooh, that's crazy. M2. Nice. Ooh, let's go. I got you. What happened to my things on my back? What the hell? That's weird. 
just kind of disappeared. Maybe I corner this match. I'm probably going to corner this match. PB? No PB? Okay, whatever. Damn, tried to PB it. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't PB, but whatever. Oh, okay. yeah, some skills can't be perfect block, by the way. Like, I think grabs can't, and some ultimates can't. So that's another thing that's uh, important to know about this game. There you go. Nice. Okay. Evasive. Fire Axe. There you go, fly at him. Nice. There you go. Oh, yeah, he's about heavy damage here. Woo, look at this. Oh! <laughs> I'm a corner him. Go when I get the chance to. Okay, he's out of here. Need to charge up. Oh, yeah, he's getting cornered. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Nice. Woo! This, this should kill him. Damn. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this game because like every time you use a skill, no matter what skill it is, it feels like it does it has like an impact to it, some heavy damage. I like that. My skills feel powerful in this game. Nice. Oh. Oh wow, I didn't block. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I don't think I'm gonna evade my evasive in time. Yeah, I died before I can evasive. Sheesh! Maybe I shouldn't have cornered then. Cause like I don't think I was worth it. Or was it? Like I, I have no clue if that was worth it or not because I mean, yeah, I killed him, but like, <laughs> we're back where we started. <laughs> All right. Try to use the two on him. Evasive. Double split. Fly at him. Nice. Oh, it doesn't cause a wall splat. <laughs> I always forget that double split doesn't do that. I wish it did, but it doesn't. All right. Um. Nice. Nice. Let me kick flurry. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I hit him to the wall. I hit him to the wall so I get another wall splat. All right, now if I wait in here, I just win. So uh, this is perfect for me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Nice. All right. He's just whiffing skills. I was hoping he'd use a string thingy. Nice. Wow, I actually whiffed. I just giga whiffed. That's the only problem about going for that combo. You can whiff it easily. All right. Oh, he awakened. Okay. Yeah, he's not playing around. Oh, he's using that string crap. There's nothing I can do about that string crap. I mean, not string crap, the musical score crap. You can't damage tank him when he does that. Oh, I'm dead here. Am I dead here? Yeah, I'm dead here. Woo, this is actually pretty bad. I couldn't hit him when he's like that. Like, there's nothing I can do about that. He has eye frames. But the musical score only lasts like a couple of seconds, though. Hmm. Do I have to corner him? I might actually have to corner him. Maybe we'll see. Evasive thing. Kick him. Devil's foot. Hmm. Yeah, I think we go for Porna. Cause like I don't want to risk losing this. There we go. Alright, nice. That's good damage. I'm gonna charge up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know if it's one break super armor, but hopefully it doesn't. Use the four. Okay, missed. Nice. There we go. Knocked him away. He's low. Wait, where is he at? What? He sent a damn air? How do you do that? Basic? No. That sucks. He gets a wall splat off that. I'm evasive. Use the four. Use the one. All right. He's low. He's literally low as hell. This is a close match. <laughs> this is a real, real close match. Whoever gets the next M1 wins this match. Nice, he's dead. Ooh! <laughs> he whiffed. <laughs> Tengen players love using that one. <laughs> he whiffed. <laughs> Let's go, bro. Let's go. All right, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy that. I'll catch y'all boys later. Anime show announce coming very soon, probably later this month or next month. I have no clue, but no, no, which character I want to see next. And I'm going to catch y'all boys later. Take care. To the brown bad man like Rambo. Tell my pocket that I finna call a hembo. With a flow, no the sugar, cook up halfway crisp. So when I spit, I suck them like Kembo. On a mic, I'm like Jackson and Queen. We gon' mock us and have it in peace. Me and A.B. the nastiest team. We act kinda like I been preached. Talking sick, we gon' pop.